In a previous video, I upgraded my iMac 12.1 Mi 2011 from Mac OS Ventura to Mac OS Sonoma using the OpenCore Legacy Patcher. For those hearing of OpenCore Legacy Patcher for the first time, it is a free open source patching software that enables a user to update an Apple unsupported computer to a more current operating system thereby extending the lifespan of such computers. You can learn more about OCLP here on their website. Installing Mac OS Sonoma on my over 13 year old iMac made it quite usable for light and medium sized tasks without any lag or errors. However, after a couple of weeks of use, I started experiencing some errors that rendered my iMac unusable. It popped up this error when powered on, refused to display the menu bar on the top of the screen, and refused to connect to the Wi-Fi or any Bluetooth devices. So today, I will be switching back to Mac OS Ventura using the OpenCore Legacy Poucher. So stay with me and let's do this. Thankfully, I have another iMac here which I will be using to create the bootable USB drive with the latest version of OpenCore Legacy Patcher. For this, a USB drive of no less than 16GB in size is required. From my experience, USB 3.0 drives perform the task of the drive creation faster than USB 2.0 drives. Be sure to make a backup of the USB drive if you have anything important on it, because everything on the USB drive will be erased during the process. I connect the USB drive to the working iMac, open Dix Utility, select the USB drive, click on Erase, name it, and leave the format as APFS and the scheme as GUID partition map. I click on Erase to format the USB drive. I close Dix Utility app and open the OpenCore Legacy Patcher app. I click on Create Mac OS Installer, click on Download OS Installer and select Mac OS 13.6.7 Ventura. The download lasts for 8 minutes and validation lasts a couple of seconds. The installer is extracted for a few more seconds and I am prompted to create the installer. I click yes. Select the installer and the USB drive and confirm my choice. Mac OS Ventura creation commences and lasts for 82 minutes. Next, I install OpenCore to the USB disk when prompted. This is very important as the iMac will need to boot off the USB drive after the installation of Mac OS Ventura is completed. I select the USB drive and the EFI partition and let the app do the rest. I proceed to reboot the PC to apply the changes. When the PC turns back on, I safely eject the USB drive. I connect it to the faulty iMac and turn it on while holding down on the Options key. In the menu that comes up, I select EFI Boot and select Install Mac OS Ventura. I select Dix Utility from the page that comes up and click on Continue. I go to View menu and select Show All Devices. Next, I select the SSD drive on the iMac and click on Erase. I keep the format as APFS and the scheme as GUID partition map. I name the SSD drive and click on Erase. Once completed, I close Dix Utility. 
I select Install Mac OS Ventura and click on Continue. On the following page, I click on Continue. I agree to the terms. Select the 1 terabyte SSD drive and click on Continue to proceed with the installation. The installation lasted for 47 minutes and the iMac restarted a couple of times during the process. At one point, after the iMac restarted, it seemed to freeze on a dark screen for 5 minutes. I powered it off and back on and the installation picked up from where it stopped. When the installation is completed, I proceed to set it up for use. Once the setup is completed, I receive a prompt to install root patches to the iMac, and I proceed to get that done and reboot to apply the changes. After rebooting, I receive a prompt to install OpenCore Legacy Patcher to the 1TB SSD drive. I click on OK and I get that done. I click on Install to Disk, select the SSD drive from the list and select the EFI partition. Once the installation is done, I click on Ignore and I proceed to safely unmount the USB drive. Next, I perform some tests on the iMac to verify its working condition. I realize that the iMac runs just great on Mac OS Ventura and the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capabilities have been restored. However, I notice that on this version of OpenCore Legacy Patcher, screen recording no longer freezes the iMac but produces a kind of lagging effect when attempting to perform tasks on the iMac. Aside from that, all else seem to be working fine. I hope you found this video helpful and insightful. If you have any questions, kindly drop them in the comments. Thank you for watching and I will see you again in another video. Bye for now.